Once the stuff of science fiction, today the flying car is a reality. And this Czech engineer claims his gyro drive is the world's first fully licensed hybrid. A leader in what has become a highly competitive global race for the skies. We didn't try to teach a car to fly, instead we tried to teach a certified gyrocopter to drive a short distance. It's not a matter of hundreds of kilometers, it's really about getting to the nearest airport, petrol station or hotel. The two-seater uses a helicopter-style rotor to give lift and another propeller to move forward. Airspeed is about 180 kilometers per hour. The flying range is about 600 kilometers, so you can fly for four hours. On landing, the pilot only has to stow the rotor blades, display a number plate, fill the fuel tank, and the gyro drive is ready for the road. In neighboring Slovakia, the Aeromobile company is gearing up to launch its flying car in 2020. It can fly much faster and farther than the gyro drive, but with a starting price of about 1.2 million euros, it's also about 20 times more expensive. The first vehicle is not for the masses because of the price and the limited, uh, uh, limited vehicles produced, but uh, like each technology, uh, this is just the first step uh, as a proof of concept, proof of technology, uh, proof of safety. Aeromobile faces stiff competition from none other than Toyota. The global giant has announced a plan to launch a three-wheeled flying car in time for the Tokyo Olympic Games in 2020.